Here's an introduction to proving things in Idris. What we're going to prove is that addition of natural numbers is associative. The first thing to know is what do we mean by natural numbers? Well, let's ask Idris. So I load my buffer with control C, control L, and what that does is it ensures that we have an Idris process running. I can then come down to the readeval print loop that comes up, and I can say nat. We can say nat is a type. OK, so natural numbers are a type. I can right click on the name nat and say get documentation. And then I can see that I have two things of natural numbers. There's either z, which is 0, or s, which is successor, taking a nat to a nat. And then the number that what I want to do with my natural numbers is add them together. To do that, I'll use a function called plus. And when I go in and I look at the documentation for plus, I can see that it's adding two natural numbers. And importantly, it's case splitting on the first. OK, so let's prove that plus is associative. I start off by giving a name to my proof, which is going to be plus a soak. And I'm going to say that left, center, and right are natural numbers. They're called left, center, and right just because there's no better name, really. And what I'm going to prove is that left plus uh, uh, center plus right is equal to the um, left plus center plus right. OK. I load that with Control-C, Control-L, and Idris once again accepts it. And then I can see below in this meta variables buffer that it what it wants me to define this function. Control C, Control S asks Idris to start a definition. So it generates an initial pattern match clause. So the first way that I'm going to prove things is by pattern matching and essentially defining a recursive function, which is the proof. So I case split on L by using Control C, Control C. And that generates pattern match clauses. I don't like the name K, I like the name L. So I'll replace that there and line up the cases. OK, loading the buffer shows that I have two proof obligations. I have right-hand side 1 and right-hand side 2. Right-hand side 1 is actually going to be pretty trivial. We can see that the 0 has disappeared because, as you remember, plus is recursive on its first argument. So it gets a 0 there, and it gets rid of it. So we need to show that c plus r is c plus r. Idris can write that for us. Control c Control a means auto. And auto gives back REFL, which is the proof of equality for things that are obviously equal, short for reflexivity. I load the buffer again, and I can see that now I need to show that the successor of plus L plus CR is equal to the successor of plus plus LC R. I can do that by appeal to the function for L rather than successor of L. So I say rewrite plus soak lcr in, and then I leave my meta variable in place. And now I can see that the meta variable has changed according to my rewriting, and that it's now something that's trivially true. So I can ask it just to solve it for me using auto, control C, control A. I load my buffer to check that everything's OK, and indeed it is. The next way to prove things that I'll be demonstrating is using the interactive tactic-based prover. So I'll define a function called plus a soak 2, which will have the exact same type as plus a soak. OK. And I'll ask it just to start the definition for me, just like before. Now I load the buffer, and I can see I have my plus a soak 2 right-hand side meta variable. But note that there's this little p. P is a button that launches the prover. So the prover here consists of two buffers. We have the goal, which is sort of the, the current proof state. It's what we need to prove. And then we have the script, which is where we write the commands to prove it. So the first command we want to use is called intros. 
What intros does is it takes all of the names to the left of else and moves them up as assumptions. And then meta n will bring the command into the proof. Now we can see that we have uh, three assumptions, else and r and ats, and one goal, which is the theorem we're trying to prove. We're going to do this by induction on L. We say meta n again, and we can see that now we have this goal of plus 0 plus cr, and then plus of plus 0 cr. We have another goal waiting into, when we're done to deal with the successor case. So this is the first case in our pattern match, essentially. When we say compute, all of those plus zeros will go away. In other words, we're normalizing the goal. And now we have something that we can dispatch with the trivial tactic. And now we're back to our other goal, which is the one corresponding to the successor case. We say intros. And now we can see that we have an induction hypothesis called IHN0. After normalizing the goal, then we can see that the equality and deduction hypothesis actually corresponds to what we have underneath the suck constructor, that is the S. So we can rewrite using the induction hypothesis. And then we see that we have something that's trivial that we can take care of. And we're done. Note that you can always use meta p to go back in your proof step and you can do meta n to go forward a proof step. Finally, we use the step qed, which finishes the proof, and then it just presents the finished proof script and asks if we want to keep it or not. In this case, yes. And now we see that it's been inserted into the buffer, and we can load the buffer, and then it just will find that and insert the proof. Now, these two ways of proving are not completely exclusive. I can actually define uh, plus a soak three, and I'm going to combine pattern matching and tactic proofs inside of plus a soak three. So once again, I start it using control C, control S, and this time I am going to pattern match on L, just as I did in the first case. Um, clean that up a little bit. Okay. Just as in the first case, I can let Idris take care of the zero case in the editor using auto, control C, control A. I load the buffer, and now I have this proof obligation here, just like we had in our first case. And this one we're going to take care of in the automatic prover, rather in the interactive prover. So I press the button, and then I say intros. And now I can see that I have this goal. I can rewrite using the function that I'm defining, because it is a recursive function. So I can say rewrite of plus a soak 3 of L of C of R. Go forward, and now I've got a goal which I can take care of with trivial, because both sides of the equality are the same. I use QED to dispatch the proof, and I tell it to save it. I can load the buffer to check that everything's OK, and it is. Now you've seen two ways to prove things in Idris and how to combine them.